Here is what's on the Garda World Test. English. Spelling. Grammar. Reading comprehension. Logic. Basic math. Problem solving, word problems. X-ray ORT test. And pattern recognition. Now let's have a look at each of these. English and grammar. Why English and grammar is important. Security guards communicate with clients, visitors, or employees, verbally and in writing. They need to communicate effectively, using appropriate language and tone, to provide clear instructions, answer questions, and report any incidents or suspicious activities. Good English language skills enable security guards to communicate professionally and effectively with people from different backgrounds and cultures. Security guards are required to write clear and concise reports, including incident reports, daily activity reports, and shift logs. These reports must be accurate, detailed, and properly formatted, using correct English grammar and punctuation, so that they can be used as evidence if required. Good English language skills avoid confusion and misinterpretation of information. The Garda World English section may include English grammar and usage meaning in context and vocabulary, punctuation, capitalization, sentence structure, and spelling. Reading comprehension. Why reading comprehension is important. Security guards are responsible for reading and understanding documents, such as company policies and procedures, safety guidelines, and incident reports. Security guards are often required to read and comprehend written instructions, building plans or schedules, and then navigate to different locations. The Garter World Reading section may include Drawing logical conclusions Making predictions Analyzing and evaluating the use of text structure to solve problems or identify sequences Give the definition of a word from context Find specific information from a different types of communication, memo, posted notice, etc. Basic math. Why basic math skills are important. Security guards are often required to perform basic arithmetic calculations, such as counting the number of people entering or exiting a building, calculating the time elapsed between two incidents, or adding up the total value of items being checked in or out. Security guards use basic measurement and estimation skills to assess and report situations, such as estimating the distance between two objects, determining the size of an area or object, or measuring the level of a substance or material. Security guards may need to use basic statistical analysis skills to interpret data, such as analyzing trends in visitor traffic, identifying patterns in incidents or crimes, or calculating the frequency of certain events. Basic math questions may include estimation, order of operation, number operations, fractions, decimals, and percent, and problem solving or word problems. Logic and problem solving. Why logic and problem solving is important. Security guards need to analyze situations and determine the best course of action based on their observations and training. They regularly assess potential threats or risks and make decisions quickly and effectively to prevent or address them. Security guards identify and resolve problems as they arise, whether it is a malfunctioning security system, a trespasser on the property, or a medical emergency. They need to think critically and creatively to find solutions to these problems, while following protocols and procedures. Security guards need to strategically anticipate potential future problems or threats, based on their knowledge of the property, its surroundings, and their understanding of criminal behavior patterns.